Welcome to the homework for lesson 24. This is module 6 of first grade. Get your name on here first. And we're finding the value of sets of coins. Complete the place value chart. These are the place value charts. And then we're going to write an addition sentence to add the value of the dimes and the value of the pennies. So that's right here. And as soon as I do this first one, you'll know exactly what it should look like. Dimes here are 10 cents. There's So those are tens, and there's two of those. And then we have ones. There's one of the hoes there. So uh, writing the addition sentence is going to look like this. The value of the dimes is 20 cents. So it's 20 plus the value of the pennies, which is one cent. One equals... 21 cents. That's it. And now here we have a 10 group of 10, a 10 group of 10s, and then here's another 10 right here, right? Dimes are all 10s, right? So we have how many 10s? There's 10 plus one more, that's 11 10s. There aren't any pennies, so zero ones. So we have 100 10 cents in dimes plus zero pennies equals 110 cents. Ordinarily, if it's more than a dollar, you'd write a dollar and 10 cents, but I'm not getting into dollar notation right now. Let's just keep it in cents. And now here we have the same thing. We have 10 tens right there, and then we have one more. That's 11 tens, so we still have 11 tens, but now we have one, two, three pennies, so three ones, so we have 110 cents in dimes, in tens, plus the three cents we have in pennies, that's 110, 111, 112, 113, that's how you write it, 113 cents. And now it's check the set that shows the correct amount, fill in the place value chart to match. And we're looking for 110 cents. Now you might find it easier to write the uh, fill in the place value chart before you look at the at the pictures. Um, and so we see uh, the 110 cents. We're talking about 11 tens, just like we were, just like on the first page when we did this one right here, part B. That's the 110 cents, right? So that's what we're looking for right there. And which one is which one has eleven tens, which is the same thing as eleven dimes, because dimes are tens. These are all dimes. You can see there's a ten group here. One more. That's eleven dimes. So that's the one. Check it. There. And oop, how many ones? Zero ones. And this one might fool you. You have 10, 10 tens there. This is not a 10, that's a penny. So this would be, these 10 tens would be 10 tens. And look, if you did this in a place value box, you'd have 10 tens and you'd have one penny. So you still have two ones and a zero for the digits for the number, but they're two different numbers, aren't they? This is 101 not 110. Draw 79 cents using dimes and pennies. Fill in the place value chart to match. Then we're not going to draw pictures of what's on the backs and fronts of the coins. We're just going to write the values of the coins in, in circles. That's how we usually draw coins. So using dimes and pennies only. So we need, here we need uh, the place value chart, we know we need, it's going to be 79, right? So it might be easier to start with the place value chart. And it tells us how many tens and how many ones we need. We need seven tens, so that's seven dimes. And this is how you draw the dimes. One, two, three, and I'm going to use five group rows so that this will look like seven in a ten frame. So there's my seven dimes and nine pennies. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that one's done. Now 118 cents. 
So 118 cents, that's going to be 8 ones and 11 tens. So just like we've seen with the 110 and then up here was the 113, right? It was 3 pennies. There's 11 tens and then 3 pennies. Now we're going to have 11 tens and 8 pennies. Here's a full 10 frame and one more. And then I'll just write in all the tens. You may find it difficult to keep to fit the tens inside the circles after you draw them. So if that if that ever happens to you or you have you struggle with that issue, then you could also one of the things that the tricks that I use sometimes is I'll write the numbers and then circle the numbers afterwards. So I need uh, eight pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, just to show you what I mean. This can help you if you draw the circles too small and you can't fit the numbers inside. This trick can help you if you are struggling with that issue. And so there's our 11 tens, right? Because there's a 10 frame right here plus one more. That's 11. And then this here's eight in a 10 frame because we can see it's missing the two, the two more there.